chair recognizes Chairman Jaspers to present House Bill 859. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And as the Dean of the House, Representative Smyrie said, this is a good bill for after lunch. Steal your thunder there a little bit. But thank you for letting me present to you today House Bill 859. It's what I like to call the Campus Safety Act. We're here today working to allow Georgians the ability to not be a victim on our college and university campuses. Yes, that's the bottom line, not be a victim. I thought about it, naming it a number of different things like the victim-free crime zone bill or whatever, because I know those don't mean much because it will not prevent all the abuse and attacks by the folks who want us to do Georgians harm on these campuses. We can put our heads in the sand and say nothing is happening but the numbers don't lie. The number of criminal offenses on campuses continues to rise. 99 sex offenses that are categorized as forcible in 2014. A total of 143 violent crimes against Georgians who are attending our schools. In 2010, that number was 77. No matter what, the number is far too many. For your information, that data is from the U.S. Department of Education website on campus safety and security data. What this bill does is allow those Georgians who have a Georgia weapons carry license to be able to defend themselves from a threat if it presents itself. These Georgians are at least 21 years old, have been fingerprinted, had their background searched by the GBI and FBI databases, and a probate judge in the county in which they live has evaluated this information. I always like to say these folks are responsible men and women of Georgia who want to utilize their constitutional right to defend themselves. They can now carry in grocery stores, church, some churches, big box stores, our parks, buses, and government buildings all around us every day. You don't hear about these Georgians being dangerous people. It just doesn't happen. The current Georgia law allows for the keeping of a weapon in one's car at a public college or university. They must leave it there when they leave their vehicle, no matter what time, day or night, no matter what the personal threat they may have against them. The penalty for carrying a weapon today on a campus is if you have a Georgia weapons carry license, it's a misdemeanor and a felony if you don't. This bill does not change that. Yeah, it does, excuse me. On the felony, it doesn't. And while I'm saying it, it's a real world solution to a real world problem. I wish, as everyone in here does, that the women and men who attend these schools and walk among all of us didn't have to do this, but in today's world, it's a must. It's their constitutional right, and we need to restore it. When you look at the bill, you'll see it's pretty simple. We are in the school safety part of the code and the prohibited spaces, starting on line 15. We won't allow those with a Georgia weapons carry license to carry in the school safety zone in a public college or university. Line 19, the places that are not allowed, the fraternity and sorority houses at a campus, dormitories, and athletic sporting events. Line 23 only applies the carrying of, it only applies the carrying of handguns that are concealed. This is a change in the past. We're proposing concealed only, and you see the language. Starting on line 27, it's a term that defines what concealment is and what it's not, flashing, et cetera, so that's not an issue. Mr. Speaker, I want to continue my pres presentation by answering a few questions that have been out there in the committee meetings and, and on TV. And one of them was, well, the, the bill doesn't allow guns in dorms or sporting events, so gun storage facilities would have to be constructed so that guns could be properly stored when students go back to their dorms or other places where guns can't be carried. There's no basis for a college to assume the responsibility for storing a weapon. Other off-limits places, like our courthouses, inside the security zone of Hartsville Airport, do not provide storage facilities for Georgia weapons carry license holders. When I take the responsibility of my safety, I have to also take the responsibility to carry where I can and store it when I have to 
College students will have to do like the rest of us and secure their firearm elsewhere. I'd like to continue along that line. Projected additional expenses will be increased to security since campus security would have to prepare for a scenario that many or all students over 21 would be carrying. Well, the st only the students with the Georgia weapons license will be legal to carry a handgun on a campus. It's estimated that roughly 10% of the population of Georgia over 21 has one of these licenses. That's 750,000 people. <clears throat> only about half the people I know carry a, a weapon all the time. The other half carry it when they want to, sometimes. We always remember that these folks have been fingerprinted, vetted by the Georgia GBI and FBI. They currently carry their firearms in almost all areas of the state without incident. So why would a college suddenly need to add security? These people don't suddenly become dangerous when they step onto a campus. If I was a student and a taxpayer, as we are, I would be insulted if more security was hired to protect me from law-abiding Georgians instead of hiring more security to protect them from robbers and rapists. The Georgia weapons license holders are statistically the most law-abiding citizens in our state. And I think it's boarding on offensive to suggest that they will conduct themselves in any less thoughtfully or lawfully the moment they set foot in a university building. When we look at Colorado, since they enacted campus safety back in 2002, they've only had one incident by an employee in 15 years. Mr. Speaker, that's what I have to say, and I'll be glad to answer any questions that the members may have. You have some questions. Do you care to yield? Yes, sir, I do. Chair recognizes the minority leader of the House to your left for a question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Does the gentleman yield? Yes, ma'am. Um, I'd like to first draw your attention to line 15 of your bill. Uh, the language reads that any license holder when he or she is in any building on real property. Um, you you a moment ago spoke to the fact that only 170,000 students would be entitled to carry. Can you show me in this language where the ability to carry on a college campus would be limited to students? It would not be. It says anyone who's a Georgia weapons license. I didn't so, say anything about 170,000 people either. Actually, you did in... Ref uh, I said there are 750,000 Georgians who currently have this license. Uh, sir, did you not, in response or in anticipation of a question regarding the need for providing safety on campus and a place to secure the weapons, make reference to a number of the number of students who would be eligible to carry a weapon on Georgia's campus? I believe the number you used was 170,000 students in the state of Georgia. I said roughly 10% of the population over 21 has a Georgia weapons license. And I said that's about 750,000 people. Only about half the people I know have a Georgia weapons carry license who carry all the time, and half so, don't. So you did not refer to a number of students so. who, no, I don't think so, to the expense that would be instituted by schools in order to meet the number of students who are on campus? No, ma'am, I don't believe I did. Can but let's go ahead. I mean, so can you speak to the cost? of securing weapons on campus since any person would be allowed to bring a weapon onto campus, not simply college students who are enrolled at that school? To secure a weapon. I think I answered that in the questions at the end. Yeah, we don't think just because the person who's had that Georgia weapons license is gonna be a criminal or do anything wrong that they haven't done in the past. Yeah, we do say that there are places they don't carry. When I carry now in the public, there are places I can't carry and I have to leave it in my car just like in this building. Okay. Um, if I can draw your attention to line 19. Uh, the language there says it does not apply to buildings or properties used for athletic sporting events. Can you speak to the penumbra of what constitutes an athletic facility or athletic sporting event or athletic facility? Uh, that is, what is the line of demarcation when a gun would be permitted and when a gun would not be permitted? Well, in the building or property where there's an athletic sporting event they could not inside of that building. So would that apply to? The stadium. Would it apply to the parking volleyball. lot of the stadium? No ma'am, parking lots are okay under Georgia, current Georgia law to have one in the parking lot of any university campus. So the parking lot that is within the student, the state property for a school, this would continue to allow students to now carry weapons 
into the parking lot of a school athletic facility if it's not a separate facility? They are currently allowed on okay. anywhere, on any facility, to have one in their vehicle. Okay. Anywhere on the university campus. And then my last question is, you referenced at the beginning sexual offenses that are committed on campus. Yes, ma'am. Uh, can you speak to the number of crimes that were committed by fellow students as opposed to by non-students on those campuses? No, ma'am, I can't. The data that I've got from the um, U.S. Department of Education doesn't show that. I wish it did. I would be curious to know that, too. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Chair recognizes uh, Representative Petrie to your left for a question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Chairman. Do you yield? Yes, sir, I do. Is it not true that the background checked licensees of this country are one of the most responsible and law-abiding demographics in this country? Yes, sir, that's absolutely true. And do you further yield? Yes, sir. Is it not true that the number of licensed concealed carry permit holders in Georgia has increased by 130% since 2007? Yes, sir. And do you further yield? Yes, sir. And is it also not true that in that same time, the violent crime rate in Georgia is down by 25%? That's absolutely true. Thank you. And one last question, if you yield one last question. Absolutely. And is it also not true that the rate of violent crime on campuses at Georgia universities has risen by 85% in that same time since the criminalization of self-defense on Georgia University campuses. That's absolutely true. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you, Representative. Do you further yield, or would yes, you sir. like to give would, time for the others that have signed up to speak to speak? I would love to answer questions, but I really want my other speakers to be able to speak, Mr. Speaker, so I'll yield the well. Gentleman has yielded the well. Is there any objection to adopting the committee substitute the chair hears none. The committee substitute is adopted. Is there any objection to agreeing to the report of the committee, which was favorable to the passage of the bill? The chair hears none. The report of the committee is agreed to. Shall this bill now pass? All those in favor of the passage of the bill will vote aye. All those opposed to vote no, and the clerk will unlock the machines. Have all members voted? Have all members voted? If so, the clerk will lock the machine on the passage of House Bill 859. The ayes are 113, the nays are 59. This bill, having received the requisite constitutional majority, is therefore passed.